Trail Seeker Adventures heads to Happy McCoy's where we check out Ivy Branch Trail System. We bring you along and show you what it has to offer. Here's a pretty little... Find out why I'm breathing so hard. We've been on some challenging technical single track that takes us up and down the hills of West Virginia. And Grandma even gets a little excited. And I share some helpful tips for the trail. Is trash. <laughs> no, not my mom. Ivy Branch Trail System is located about 20 miles from Charleston, West Virginia. This trail system offers trails for ATVs, UTVs, dirt bikes, and rock crawlers. Campgrounds are somewhat limited at this trail system. We ended up at Big Earl's. Big Earl's has clean restrooms and showers. The campground has ice and also washers and dryers. They offer primitive camping. They have four cabins. They have four RV hookups that are $30 a night. Water and electric only is $25 a night. And cabins are around $100 a night. We came down Friday evening after work, and now it's time to hit the trail. So, I thought they said girls were slow. No. Kenny has been rocking around the trail seeker several times, and it's hot in Charleston. We're getting ready to hit Hatfield McCoy Trail Ivy Branch. It's back open, so we're going to check it out. But I'm waiting for Kenny, who just keeps walking around a little bit to get done the box trailer and it's it's funny how quick i get done but he has walked back and forth back and forth here you see i mean i get ready in like five minutes yeah it took two seconds for him to do that i've got the girls light uh seriously So as we get ready to roll out to the trails, as you can see, we can travel from the campground, but you do have to go out to Route 119, make a right, and then you have to stay on the berm of the interstate or the four lane. You will travel about three miles down 119, then you'll make a right onto Route 3, and then it's approximately one to two miles to the trail system and it will be on your right. This is a long weekend for Heidi and I. So it is Friday, we came down and just Heidi and I get to go out and hit the trails. Tomorrow, Saturday, her mom and dad's coming down and they're bringing their side aside and we're gonna hang out for most of the day and then we're heading to Ohio to the John Penton GNCC. We first checked out Happen McCoy Trail System probably around eight or nine years ago, um, pretty much when it first opened. And back then we hit Little Coal, and that trail was so much fun. Unfortunately, that system has closed down, but there's rumors that maybe in a year or two it will reopen, and I hope so because I think when you have a couple of trail systems together, it definitely makes it worthwhile to spend more than a day or two at that system. The Ivy Branch Trail System is somewhat unique because you're allowed to bring your Jeep, your rock crawlers, motorcycles, side sides and we all share the same trails. That is something you would also need to watch out for. Close to Big Earl's is the Half and McCoy office where you can buy permits and souvenirs. But also at the Ivory Branch Trailhead, there's another shop that you can buy your pass. So for West Virginia residents, it is $26.50 with tax. And for out of state residents, it's $50 with tax. Now this pass is good possible. until December 31st, oh, right 2021. There. And I think that's one heck of a deal. And when you come visit Hatfield McCoy Trails, you, know, you want to make sure you come to the trailhead and get an updated map. 
Ivy Branch has recently added many new trails that will not be on the old map. You too. We're just going to go up and buzz around. We can't get lost, so we'll just go. And at the end of the day, we'll find out where we're at and work our way back. So we found our campsite, we got our map, we got our passes, and now it's time to hit the trail. I am on my 2020 Beta 300RR. And I am on my 2021 Beta X Trainer 300. And, and these trails are awesome for me to get some seat time and see what this bike can do. In case you're first time watching one of our videos, we are Trail Seeker Adventures. We bring the video camera along with us as we go out and try out new adventures. Today we are at Hatfield McCoy's. We're bringing you along so you can see what the trails are like and what the Ivy Branch trail system has to offer. Ivy Branch has added many new trails and this is one of them. Most of the trails are like this, but we're going to show you everything it has to offer it has rocky creek bottoms single track uphills and downhills mud you name it it has it and we're going to show you what it is all about make sure you like and subscribe to our channel that way you won't miss our next adventure some big like connector but there's no connector so it should just it yeah just i think this is the main connector 10 around the outside of it and then all the little trails are so on the inside see what kind of goes off of them as we're going on i think this is the trail that we had i don't remember we got you like jumping like we oh, took wow, taking so pictures of jumping yeah. yeah oh and did you see me jump on that one thing it was that down thing? yeah it was a creek on the or like a pond or a yeah. puddle on the other side is a little like, deeper a little deeper than you thought wasn't it yeah all right, well, I guess we're just going here if I see something. Yeah, I just I want to follow you, but just stay to the right around the turns. Oh, I am. I don't, that's why I don't like to go first. I know you don't. That's six. We're on ten. Yeah, I think that's ten. All right, if we go, uh, we go. Let's see, we went down, came up here. You'll definitely want to keep your map right handy here. because you'll have it out many and times throughout the day. Here's little twenty-four. Two fifty. So if you go to the internet and you go you to trailshaven.com, it will give you a full rundown of every trail system half the McCoy trail system has. Now the rating for the Ivy Branch Trail is 33% green, which is the easiest, 28 for the blue, which is more difficult, 27 black, which is most difficult, and also the single Checking track is about 40 yeah. percent um there's the also out. one that is most difficult and it's in the red and it's eight percent so it's very good to kind of go to this website get familiar with the rules um as everybody who's been on the hatfield mccoy trial knows this these trials are a cool two-way trail, really. trail system so you have mm -hmm. to be careful for oncoming traffic there's also some hand signals that we give each other, and it's, you know, if you have five people in your group, you know, you hold up a five, the next person holds up a four, three, two, one, and that just lets everybody know how many more machines is coming your way. This was one of the new additions this year. It had to be fairly new. Uh, there was about three or four trails that I believe probably just opened within a week us, from us getting there. But this was a little muddy. Heidi picked out her line and had no problems. If you come to a Hatfield McCoy trail system, you'll find a trail for just about any skill level. Eighty-seven. Just go as far as you can, and I'll check it out. This is the most difficult. I haven't told her yet. She's getting, getting herself prepared. Man, I'm trying. I say hi. Carry your momentum.
So can you tell me to go as far as I could go? Maybe. I don't know. All right. Like the rest of the way up there. <laughs> Keep the gas on. Alright, that rock's slick. I found that out. I didn't want to do this. Kenny said I'd do as far as I could. I made it, uh, I just went down there because he just fell over, but he's still going. Definitely some indoor, indoor practice. There you go, still going. <laughs> This is a black trail. Usually they're pretty short. They usually run between one blue trail to a green trail or whatever. But I usually go to the top, find out what's up there, let Heidi know whether or not she should come or not. This was a no-go for Heidi. <laughs> so uh, I went up, turned around, and now I'm working my way back down. So we can go find another trail. rock slick so I'm not going down there. Yeah, there's some huge rocks up here. You want to try? No, it gets pretty tough on up there. Just go slow. It's probably all right. Well, you have no other choice from where you're at. I'm sure it's fine. If you can get over here, but it's red clay. Can you get up over there? Yeah. Try that. No, that's the red clay. You'll slide right down in it. Either go through it or go around it. <laughs> you gotta get a little more gas. There you go, now you got it. All right, so, go. as I try to make this little maneuver on this red, no, this slick clay, I point at something. And what is it? A snake. And if anybody knows me, oh, they know now. I'm You'll petrified go. of snakes. Now, the snake seemed yeah, like it was a couple feet gear. long, but in reality, it was probably three inches okay, long, four. It was just Let's a little go. baby snake, but it doesn't matter because it could flick up and land <laughs> on my right head now. or my hair or something. So to me, uh, no snake is a good snake. <laughs> She's a pleasure. Now watch her go that way. I watch me go through the mud and it's not even deep.
snake? <laughs> Underneath of you? Yeah, a little black snake like that big. <laughs> no, it's a night crawler. No, it was a black red neck ring snake. Yeah. Oh, I was just it saying. Was right me. I was going to say that's your worst nightmare to be stuck with a snake <laughs> under you. Yeah, it was, it was like this big. <laughs> See, I think you'd have been better just to go yeah, through it. Just but you don't ever listen to me. But hey, but did I not? You did it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I was, well, just, no, you, we'll go, uh, just, uh, stay probably to the right, if you can go up to the right, but if you have to, you can drop down into that rut, and we'll explore and see what, yeah, right, but from here, wondering why I hesitated well this is actually a black trail and it's a pretty steep trail so that's why I kind of hesitated are. but of course the GoPro footage doesn't do it justice like a pretty cool trail black diamond it's like nope but each time she goes and she does it successful she gets more confident Was you pucker? No. <laughs> uh, I was worried about you sliding back because you don't you want to well, stay up on I that can't. tank. It's, I'm telling you, this seat is very slick. That's why I said I might need to get the seat that has that thing on it. Yeah. Because it, I can't help it, my pants are so slippery. But also, I'm like, I am sliding, and I don't want to put that bump on it. Did you I'd get, get the seat? Then. Yeah. Drippers, drippy like, seat. Like thing. Yeah. And my pants come, and then they start coming in my butt. Crack. Also, keeping your feet on the pegs would have been. Well, I did fine. Yeah, you made it. I'm well, just saying that's fine. how that's how you get slid back. Is when you dab your foot, you slide back a little bit. So when I find a black trail that I want to try, and Heidi doesn't want to do it, we usually pick a point somewhere on the trail, and she'll meet me a little further up the trail. Well, I mean, I don't mind the black trails, trail. but when it's a single oh, black trail, sometimes double black trail, that's a little bit different. But as you can see, watch Kenny do this trail, and you'll find out why I was like, pass. A trail and a trick bottom. This doesn't look fun to Heidi, but this is exactly what I've been looking for. I've been wanting to do some hard enduro. Actually, that is exactly why I bought this bike. And there's many opportunities to come out and try your hard enduro skills.
I would say this trail is probably maybe for maybe the jeeps or the rock crawlers. Um, I'm not sure, but it was definitely that kind of trail. I ain't got time for that today. The trail went on up the creek, but I decided that it's going to take too long to get up through there and meet up with Heidi. So I came up and we tried another trail. That's the trail, but actually this is the trail that we watched him come up. Oh, yeah, uh, this, is this is the trail. Because this trail is what we was on. But I'll hit that Our first trail time there. at this trail system, we through. watched some rock crawlers yeah, crawl up, through, up yeah, over until... these rocks in the valley, and oh, we were looking for the trail system that we saw yeah, them we'll on. We thought this was it. Actually, later on, we find the actual trail that uh, they came up through, and, and we actually got some video of it. Well, this later, is the I end of Friday, or day one of riding. And now it's time to go back to the camper, put the bikes away, and head into town for some Olive Garden. One of the cool things about Ivy Branch is it is so close to Charleston, West Virginia. So you can get a full day of riding in and then go into town for some different kind of food. They have Quaker State, Olive Garden, Red Lobster. There's so many different things. There's also a Cabela's and some other stores, movie theater, go-karts. Uh, there's a water park close by. So there's a lot of things to do after you're done riding. And also, if you don't have a camper or want to stay at a campsite, you can always get a hotel. Right, Heidi. And we actually did not have a camp reservation. Uh, we came down just looking for a campsite. If we didn't find anything, we was just going to go stay at Walmart or Cabela's and uh, just camp out in their parking lot. But we found Big Earl's had an open tent Someone location a bad day. and it was oh, perfect for us. I mean, do you want to just see the truck and go, go park at Walmart? I think it's going to be way too noisy. Uh, it's only noisy. So it's day two, Saturday morning, and it's time to meet us with the parents. My mom and dad have a Polaris 900 side-by-side, -side, and they go out and rip the trails. And if you follow the rest of this video, even though we missed it, my dad decides to send it off this rock. He makes my mom scream, and he checks out the trails. Alright, so we're at Ivy Branch and heading out the day with the parents. Parents? There's dad. Oh, I got this. I should wear this hat. She's so excited. Hello. Even though she doesn't have to wear a mask on the trail, I think she'll be social distance enough. It might be enough. dusty. It might be it's dusty. not that dusty. What do, you, what do you have to say? There is bugs. Good idea. Bringing the off bug spray. He came prepared. We've done this before. She thinks it's going to be dusty on the trail. It's not too bad. Unless you get behind somebody, then you may need it. <laughs> All right, you guys excited for the day? Excited. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> ready. <laughs> How about you? Speechless. She's speechless. Yeah. Cool. All right. Guinea? No. Johnny had a tick on him yesterday. Yeah, oh, I'm going to spray some on me. Yeah, it was. It was connected. Well, he took his shower and I said, what is on your back? And I had to get the tweezers. It was connected into his Hey, skin. I have dad's cell phone. I don't know why. Oh, I was talking to John. Yeah, I was talking to John. Did you Okay. See you in a little bit. You ready to go, Susie? It is awesome to be able to still get our parents out on the trails. Today, we are with Heidi's mom and dad. And basically, we are a tour guide. We go ahead, we go to a corner or a intersection, and we stop, we wait, and then when they show up, we go the direction that we think yeah. they will have the most fun. But I thought I'd get a little jab in because usually every time they stop, they all have to go pee. But we've only been on the trail for five minutes, so. You need a pee break? 
Who you good? <laughs> yeah. No right. I thought I'd be funny, and uh, nope, they didn't have to no, pee. Just so the way I up did. the trail we go. We'll go over there. So, so if you watch this video, you can see that we're at that stupid mud hole again. Of course, I'm not gonna go the way the snake was because remember that little baby snake has a mama and a daddy somewhere. So my parents Dino, are smart and they take Dino, this little side dirty. trail here and my mom was so excited that they found this. Judy just got the biggest smile on her face. <laughs> Throughout the trail system, no matter which trail system you're on at the Hatfields, I always seem to find these little sucker hill climbs. You come, and obviously they're not part of the trail system, but it looks like somebody's been up here and they go nowhere. And going up them's fun, but sometimes trying to find your way back down them is just a little scary. this way. This is one of the new trails that the Ivy Branch had added this year. It starts out pretty cool and then once you get down here you can really tell how little this trail has been used and once I got down here to this little intersection right here I see there's a line going to the left and I'm like huh wonder where that goes so I come out to visit it brings you out to the tracks and there's a train tunnel right here obviously not part of the trail system so I turn around and head back and give an update to the parents well I don't think this is the trail hmm. it just goes to a train tunnel most people must just go that way to look at it Huh? We're gonna take our picture in it? No, it's not even wide enough. Can we're not going it? that way. You want us to go look at the trail? No, that's the trail, I guess. So you did. Oh, okay. That, that black so the train tunnel is nothing we want to see? Nah, it's not that exciting. <laughs> So we hit a single track on day one that was awesome. And day two, Kenny fell on another single track that I thought, okay, it looks about like how the first one was. But unfortunately, again, the GoPro doesn't do it justice. This thing becomes too close on one side, rocks, uneven, off camber, oh, downhill, yeah. something Jabbing crap. Out. So great for Kenny, not so much height. So I park my bike and let Kenny check it out. How do you like that one?
Um, are you are you seeing a problem? Well, yeah, it's getting pretty small. So why don't you go ahead? Yeah, she's not gonna like it. So we found out Heidi is afraid <laughs> of snakes on this video, and I'll now you're up. about to find out that Heidi is afraid of heights as I'll, well. Uh, I'll come back up and get your bike. As soon as I seen how steep it was on both sides, I don't know if you heard me say, I said, nope, Heidi's not gonna like this. But in my defense, this was pretty technical. It is definitely steeper than it looks. I decided to just go on down and walk back up and get her bike. Uh, little did I know how steep and how hard that we want to be with riding boots on. Uh, I gotta walk back up here. Let's take these old goggles off. things I don't do for my woman is a pretty little scary downhill <sighs> hope she left the key in it <sighs> hold around scratch it One sixty-one single track, and this is a little bit too much advance for me, so not worth it. He's having that. He's sliding down it. He wants to know if I want to do the rest of it. That's funny. So on day one, we did find some single track. Unfortunately, I did not get to put that on the video. But this, this single track was pretty cool. Um, that was the worst of it. So, we made a little pit stop, and one of the things we want to talk about is trash. <laughs> no, not my mom. Not my <laughs> this water mom. bottle. So, whatever you bring Betty to the trail, you take back <laughs> home. Nobody wants to see your crappy trash. If you're not smart enough to understand, now you're just don't give a hoot, don't pollute. <laughs> So you might okay, take two. <laughs> Your mama didn't teach you better. Again, what we want to talk about is trash. And no, I'm not talking about my mom. <laughs> Whatever you bring with you, you take home with you. Because Mother Nature does not like her place messed up. So, take your garbage home with you. Leave no trace. That is my PDA for today. Good. So I'm getting the parents down on a black trail. I had already came down and checked it. It goes right here, which we never did get to go check that side out. But I know down here there's a drop off. And I wanted to see if they was going to be willing to come and uh, check it out and see if they can find a way down off of this little, um, well it had boulders in it but it was a drop off and it doesn't look like much here but it's a good four feet of a drop with boulders laying in the middle of it. Get so it so I thought he could squirm to the right and kind of miss all the big boulders that we're looking at right there. 
So I go back and I say, hey Johnny, you may want to look at this. You may want to check this spot out, see if you can drop down off of it. <laughs> it's just a little ledge drop off of. You want to come look at it before you go? Get your tennis shoes away. So he drives down. I don't even get the camera out. And next thing I know, he just plops right down over it. Like there was nothing. And I was so disappointed. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him just to dive bomb it. Uh, I, I didn't get none of that. Did you get any of it? I mean, I cannot believe we missed the best footage Look of the it, day. Johnny. So after talking to Dad, if you guys know my mom, she has a bad habit of when things kind of get scary, she bells. Like literally jumps out of the truck, jumps off a lawnmower, I mean, whatever it is. So. Dad heard, nice. I'm getting out, and he freaking floored it, and that's what happened. But don't worry, he kept going over stuff, but he would not What's repeat that, I'm gonna wait for the send it rock that we missed. Ugh, I was so disappointed. Don't use your front brake! <laughs> don't stop, just go! Go. Did you say no? I said go. Oh, don't use your front brake. Oh uh, yeah, I said don't use your front brake. So oh, I'm on my front brake. Well, just start it and go. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> 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 Power rev. <laughs> Power rev. When in doubt. <laughs> when in doubt, gas it out. There. <laughs> well, she when probably Dad, heard you. What did Dad jump it? No, it bounced. No. A, it bounced a little bit. <laughs> so one of the cool things we saw all the first time we, we were here a long time ago was these rock crawlers. They may be called land cruisers too. I'm not sure quite what everybody calls them. But it was so cool to see these machines go through these rock sections. I mean, things that we were like, there's no way. They would just creep and crawl right over the rocks and boulders and just crevices and everything. So Kenny was able to get a little bit of footage right when we were getting ready to leave. But if you're down at Ivy Branch, check out some of the trails that those machines actually go on. It's a fun time just to watch them and see what they can do. Sometimes waiting for the parents, I get myself in trouble, I get bored, I go explore. I seen okay, this little bridge, I thought I could go under it. Well, that is a no-go. So I turn around and um, I actually have hurt myself messing around, waiting for the parents to come by. So with me sitting around being bored, I usually find a way to get hurt. Alright, this is 92. 92 says danger for the highly experienced rider only. Area may require winch, uh, don't got, or four wheel drive, don't got. Uh, no one under 18 of age, good on there. Machine must, machine under 200, no machine, yeah, I got 250. No UTV side by side machines. No two wheel drive. I got one wheel drive. No passengers. Good there. Expert uh, rider only. Yes, me. Go. Ooh, looks thick. <laughs> so we was talking about watching the rock 